All right, hello everybody and welcome to Noita. This is Alias and I'm going to be showing you a really cool trick that allows you to carry five wands at once. It's very, very easy. All you have to do is pick which wand slot you want to choose. So my, my wand slots, hotkeys are one, two, three, and four. I will pick wand slot four and I'm going to press the button four at the same time I press my swap item key, which is F. Uh, that this will work for everyone just make sure you use your own keys and uh yeah cast them at the same time and uh, this is what it looks like when it's successful you go ahead and choose uh that exact same slot so i i pressed four and i used one slot four to pick it up now i have five wands carried as you can see i've got uh, these four default and then i've got this fifth wand that's sort of just hanging in air here um, note that I cannot shoot like this, however, I can very easily drop the wand just by swapping to any one of my slots, and uh, then I can continue fighting like this. Um, th this is a visual glitch with the spells dropped on the ground here, so you can't, like, dupe spells or anything along that line. Uh, I've experimented with it extensively. Um, it it's a very, very handy trick for bringing multiple spells through with you, uh, or an extra wand through with you for every single floor. Uh, this can give you an absolutely massive advantage. Uh, just make sure you've got a clear entrance so that way you don't have to worry about anything. Um, one of the side effects of carrying a wand like this is that an enemy is actually able to grab it right out of your hands. As you can see, that medic just yoinks that wand and it immediately uh, ended up dealing a ton of damage to me. So be really careful with what wand you're carrying like this because it's, it's very easy for an enemy to potentially get some very significant damage uh, dealt to the player. Um, another interesting mechanic with this is if an enemy grabs the wand out of your hand, um, it will warp to the um, it'll warp to the player if the enemy dies and you haven't input any of your wand inputs, which is extremely extremely peculiar. Um, I'm not sure if there's too many good applications for that just yet uh, i've experimented with um holding upwards of five wands uh like maybe seven or eight or nine or ten and any any amount uh, i've tried experimenting with that like by giving multiple enemies these uh weird held wands and then killing them to have the wand warp to me it, it, it doesn't appear to work but uh, there's certainly more to this uh, exploit than is initially uh, visible. So yeah, that, that's all I'm going to give on that. Uh, if anyone has anything to add, feel free. It's it's very, very strong. Um, and uh, it's it's very helpful as well. So, uh, oh, one last thing. If you're interested in doing this and not having to master the timing, a, a very handy thing that you can do, as you can see, I can warp it just by kicking him too. Um, a very handy thing you can do is just set your use button to the same button as uh, one of your um, wand slots. So wand slot four and use could both be four and uh, it would automatically do this. You wouldn't even have to learn the timing. Um, th that said, this is what it looks like when you fail the timing. It'll it'll do it'll toss the wand up in the air like that. Um, it's it's not terribly difficult. Just make sure you've got the right wand slot going. And you can see that it works pretty consistently. Alright, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.